everyone, it's Jordan, and if you hear any weird sounds, it's this beanbag I'm sitting on. I'm in a new location, I'm home for the summer, so that is why it looks different around me. But I wanted to get this video up to you guys. Um, today's video is all about foundation. I want to talk about my favorites for all skin types and all different sorts of coverages because it is summer now, and I personally believe that you cannot have a good makeup day without a good foundation without a good base. So if you want to see my top favorite foundations, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. So we're going to start off with high-end foundations. Um, my, I have two favorite high-end foundations. They're my Holy Grail. I have loved these for years. I've been using them for years. I use these when I just need to have my foundation on all day long, I need something that I know how it's going to work and how it's going to perform. So my first high-end foundation that I absolutely love is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation. Now I am in the color 0.5 Breeze and this foundation is just, it's, it's one of my all-time favorite foundations. Um, it is... Good for all skin types. Um, good for dry skin and oily skin and normal skin. I have experienced all three um, in a span of six months. I've had dry skin, I've had oily skin, I've had normal skin, I've had combination skin because I, I travel around a lot um, with singing. So this foundation is just a foolproof, full coverage, yet it doesn't feel full coverage. It feels lightweight on the skin. It's got a little luminosity to it, so it's not completely, completely matte. Um, but it is a mattifying foundation. It's a long wearing foundation. It is completely full coverage. It it's a beautiful foundation, and I've been loving this one for years. I really I use it on flights. I use it on performance days. I just use it when I need to know that my foundation is going to last. So this is. One of my favorites. My next high-end foundation favorite, this is my holy grail foundation. This is my favorite foundation of all time. This foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And this foundation is completely matte. It is the most full coverage foundation that I have found. It is so beautiful and it literally will last through anything. I have severe TMJ, I get weekly massages, and no other foundation lasts through my massages. This foundation, when I put my face down in the little sheets and I come back up, my foundation is perfect. There's nothing mistouched, nothing gone. I've worn this singing, I've worn this in bad weather, and it does not move. The only thing is, it does feel thick on your face. So I usually wear this when I need flawless, flawless skin. When I know that I'm going to be out and I'm in an evening gown, like that is when I wear this foundation. On normal everyday days like this, I don't grab this foundation because it, like I said, it does feel heavy on your skin if you're not used to that full coverage feel. If you're a makeup lover and you don't care, then you'll love this foundation. And most people have heard about it already. But this is a really, really full coverage foundation. So if you're more on, of a natural kind of person, you would still like it, but it's, it's going to feel heavy. So this is for my special occasions when I need my face looking perfect. And this will definitely have your face looking perfect. It will erase any trace of redness. Any blemish you have is gone. So I, I absolutely love this foundation. I am in the color 1C1 Cool Bone. My next high-end foundation is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It is the regular Your Skin But Better Color Correcting Full Coverage CC Cream has SPF of 50 and when I first tried this out I didn't like it because it is very light coverage and it's something that I just 
I kind of felt iffy about it first, but the more I used it, the more I really loved it. The only thing I have to say that I don't like about this is its scent. It has a really, really strong sunscreen smell, but if you can get past that, then you will love it. It's perfect for the summer. It is so easy. I use a sponge, a makeup sponge to apply it, but you can just pump some on the back of your hand, take your fingers, rub it in, and just do just rub it on your face and it works as a sunscreen and it will also cover up some redness that you have too so it's not just you know sunscreen on your face i substitute this for sunscreen all summer long and it gives your face a nice smooth finish while you're on the beach or you're at the pool and you're still protecting your skin it also has anti-aging serum in it which is great for more mature skin and it's it has a beautiful natural finish it feels very very light on your face it's not heavy at all just two one or two pumps rub it with your fingers or a brush or a sponge any of those will do and you can just apply it to your face quickly five minutes boom you're out the door this is just a quick and easy foundation that I love and I'm in the color of course fair I do wish that they made more shades of this because I feel like it doesn't suit everyone's skin color but it is a good foundation nonetheless. Last favorite for high-end foundations is actually one that I discovered um, more recently. It is the Lorac Natural Performance Foundation and I'm in the color NP1 Porcelain. And this foundation is really beautiful. I would say this is for dry skin to normal skin. So normal dry skin would really love this. Oily skin, you can still wear it, but you're gonna have kind of a slippery slope if you don't set it. This foundation is super lightweight. It's light to medium coverage. You can get medium if you build it a lot, but it's, it's more high light coverage. And it's very, very lightweight. It, got such a beautiful luminous dewy finish it's perfect for dry skin people that just need that extra moisturization on their face and when i was going through my dry skin spell back up in the north um when college was going on i loved this foundation it just it felt so lightweight on my skin and you know when you have dry skin you have dry patches Something heavy is just going to feel just crackly and not cute. And this feels so great on your skin. So if you have dry skin or normal skin, I would definitely recommend this. They actually sell this now at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like $7.99 because it's been out for so long. So go check it out. If not, go on the Lorac website or Ulta or Sephora and they still have it there. Okay, so now we are moving on to the drugstore foundation portion of this video. And when I tell you I have a lot of drugstore foundation favorites, I have a lot. I've been trying and trying and trying foundations for months now, finding my favorites, finding what works for me because my skin has just changed so drastically over the past few months. Growing up, I had super oily skin and then when I moved up north for college a few years ago, my skin totally changed drastically and went from oily to super dry skin now that I'm back home my skin is getting back down to normal um, it's getting normal to oily again but I have foundations for all skin types and I have a lot of them so let's get started my first favorite drugstore foundation which everyone has been talking about since it came out and it is completely full coverage and long lasting and it is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I actually use these two together. It is It is the Maybelline Superstay full cover 24 hour foundation. I am in the color 112 Natural Ivory. It is super full coverage, super long lasting and very matte. All skin types can use this but if you have dry skin, when I had dry skin and I was using this, I had to really, really moisturize and prime before I did this because it's a lot. But if you have oily to normal skin, if you haven't checked this out, run to get it because it is amazing. Just 
two pumps and your whole face is covered, all redness, all blemishes, they're gone. You do have to set it because unlike the Estee Lauder, it is matte, but it's not as matte and it will slip around and kind of slide and move if you don't set it really well. So just make sure to set it. But other than that, it's been one of my favorites for months now. My next favorite is one that I've been recently trying out and it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Now, at first I thought it was gonna, this was gonna be a dupe for the Clinique and it is in a sense, but the Clinique is more water-based. This is thicker in consistency, but it is not as full coverage as the Clinique. Um, it's about medium coverage. It is a little buildable. Um, I am in the shades 00A Porcelain and 00 Light Neutral. Um, I mix these two. It's a really great medium coverage foundation. It feels lightweight on your skin. It has a nice pump. I use it with a sponge. I use all of these foundations with a sponge and a few with a brush. I don't usually like to use a brush, especially if my skin's breaking out or going through a dry spell. But um, with this one, I like to use a sponge and it is a great concealer. And it's a great foundation. I really enjoy it. Um, but again, you you do have to set this one or it will kind of slip and slide on you throughout the day. It's not as long lasting as the Clinique one is, but it is still a really good foundation. My next favorite foundation that I have been loving for a long time now, when I, especially when I had dry skin, is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation now they sell this at Walmart and Ulta and it is beautiful it is a full coverage luminous foundation at the drugstore it is amazing for dry skin if you have dry skin you will love this now if you have oily skin you probably won't like this especially now that it's summertime because it will look oily and greasy on you but for dry skin people you will absolutely love this it has such a beautiful glow. It feels lightweight and it's completely full coverage as well. Beautiful. I rec I totally recommend it. Another foundation I've been loving for dry skin is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. Now, this one isn't technically supposed to be out yet, but you can find it hidden in with some of the other Maybelline foundations. You really have to look, but it has the pink cap as you can see. It looks like this. It's been in the UK for quite a while. I'm in the shade 10 Porcelain Ivory. It has a hydrating serum. It is medium coverage and it is so beautiful. It feels great on the skin. It feels hydrating and moisturizing. For dry skin, you're gonna love it. For oily skin, you probably won't like it because it's going to look a little greasy on you. But for dry skin and normal skin, you will absolutely love this foundation. It looks so beautiful. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is from Wet n Wild and this is their Mega Cushion Foundation. Now this is perfect for summer. It has an SPF of 15 in it. It is a cushion foundation so it just looks like that and it is beautiful. I do not like cushion foundations but this one has extreme coverage for a cushion foundation. It's Buildable medium coverage. It's so lightweight. This is usable for all skin types, especially if you're going to the pool and you just need some SPF and you're just throwing it on. You just take this little sponge and you just pat it all over your face and you are done. Your skin looks absolutely beautiful. Every time I've used this, I absolutely love it. So I recommend this to all skin types. It's only like $5 at CVS. Everyone should own this, especially in the summer. If you have oily skin, set it with some powder and you'll be fine. If you have dry skin, you don't even have to worry about setting it. It's just, it is beautiful and it is long lasting as well. And it is just so lightweight on the skin. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything. The last foundation that I'm going to talk about, the last liquid foundation that I have here is something that I've been using recently and I have loved. I've never tried it out, which it's been out for a long time. But I recently tried it and I'm I'm in love with it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. This is beautiful. I have normal to oily skin right now. And it is so beautiful. It just looks airbrushed on your skin. 
I'm wearing this foundation today. I'm not in good lighting, so it looks kind of weird, but my skin today has just felt so good. I've been wearing it the past few days, and I went to a cookout yesterday. It's like 92 degrees here. It lasted all day. No oily patches, nothing. It just, it was beautiful. So if you have oily to normal skin, I definitely recommend you go pick this up at your drugstore. It is full coverage and well, it's, it's medium coverage when you first apply it, but you just keep tapping it and it builds to a beautiful, flawless, full coverage. That is my new favorite right now from the drugstore. I've been using it with this um, Kabuki brush from Primark. A lot of people don't know what Primark is. It's a UK-based brand. They have it up north. Um, they don't really have it anywhere else in the States, and you can't order it offline. But this is just, it, it was only like, three dollars but it's just the perfect angled foundation kabuki brush it just stipples in everything perfectly so i've been applying it with this and i absolutely love it but any foundation brush will work the last foundation that i'm going to talk about is actually a powder based foundation i've been using this one since i first even started wearing makeup in back in middle school which was a very long time ago and this is still a favorite of mine. I don't wear powder foundations alone. I use this to set my liquid foundation if I want extra coverage. Um, I This is the best powder foundation I've ever used in my opinion. It's, it's so full coverage. It's so mattifying. It's so long lasting. And I've been using this for probably, I would say seven years now and it's still one of my favorites so definitely recommend it is the Clinique Superpower Double Face Makeup Matte Powder and I'm in the shade 07 Matte Neutral and it's just it's just a powder like this it comes with a little sponge I what I do with this is I throw it in my purse if I need to touch up I'll just take like right now if I have a little redness I'll just take it and I'll pat it wherever I'm having oiliness or a blemish pop up and it just completely covers it and it looks really great. So I have been loving that foundation for a really long time. And it is the only powder foundation that I will ever use liberally. All right, everyone. So those are my top foundations from high end to drugstore. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope this help some of you find your perfect foundation, especially for summer, because we're all gonna be out by the pools, out by the beach, sweating and having a good time, and you need to find a foundation that's just gonna work for you and for your skin. Thank you all so much, and I hope you all have a blessed day. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below what you would like to see next. Thanks, bye guys.